Hi guys, I'm Razor Raccoon and I'm going to show you how to build a bee farm combined with a crop farm. Why would you want to do that, you might ask? Because the bees drip honey on your crops and make them grow a lot faster. So it's really a great synergy. I built this one and I went AFK for an hour after emptying out the inventory and as you can see, made about seven stacks, a little more than seven stacks of potatoes, about two and a half stacks of honey, bo uh, honey bottles and a fair amount of honeycomb. So it does seem pretty productive. I think you're gonna like it. Let's get started. You can build this at ground level and just dig down for the redstone. I'm gonna be building it a few blocks above the ground just so that everything is clearly visible. And I'm gonna start by going out nine blocks. We're gonna have a nine by nine farm. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we wanna go an extra block in this direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna quickly fill this in and speed things up for us. And the reason you want this extra row on one side is so that we can have an extra track that is not underneath the farm. We can start and stop the track of the cart that way. And we can also have one, uh, that way we can interact with the farmer without this cart taking stuff. And the other reason is because the, the way the track runs, you need an even number of rows on at least one side. The rail is gonna be part of our collection system. So let's go ahead put a few temporary blocks um, on this side that's nine wide, one of the nine wide sides. This is where the collection system is gonna be that's also gonna get, collect the honey for us. We'll come out, put a temporary block here, break four blocks, put a hopper into that, and then make a train coming back. And then that can be, I did not mean to do that. Place this with a chest now. This is going to be quite a lot, I think. Plenty of room to store stuff. There we go. We're going to need those extra two hoppers coming off the end because we're going to put a sorting system there. I'll explain that later. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and take out the middle block, one, two, three, four. So this middle block all the way down this row, replace with redstone. And then one more block on this side. And we're gonna start building a track starting from this corner and going down. Now the rest of it, we're gonna zigzag all the way until we reconnect so that this cart will move continually across here and dump out its contents when it gets to these hoppers. I'll speed this part up just to show you. So it should look like that when you're all done. As you can see, the track is continuous and the car can just continually move across here. This last line of rail is the one that will be exposed so that we can step on it, stop the car, start it back up, things like that. We're gonna build the farm above this. So start just past your hoppers. If you have four hoppers, starting on the fifth block and then go to the fifth block again. So one, two, three, four, five. This should be right in the center of nine by nine for the farm and then we're gonna wanna build land all around this. I'll skip this part, but basically fill in land all the way again, just leaving one rail on that one side. So when you're done, it'll look like this with one rail on one side exposed. We'll go in here and add water to that. Now place a composter for your farmer above this water and we need to put a level of glass all the way around. We put a temporary block just to get it started. And we can remove that temporary block. So I don't want it there. I want it like this. 
and I'll speed this up. So it should look like that when you're all done. Now starting on the side opposite where your extra rail is, we're going to dirt, uh, put dirt, a level of dirt, almost all the way around. We're starting just inside of this corner. We're going to go all the way around to the other corner. It should look like this when you're done. So now let's add some lights. We're going to put one light on the composter. If you're using shroom lights, which I like to use, but you can use glowstone or something else. Um, make sure you shift click or it will get composted. It's compostable. And we're going to bust out uh, one in a row with the composter uh, on each side just to make sure there's plenty of light. Like that. And that way it should look like this when you're done. And then we can go ahead and add flowers all the way around here for the bees. Now we can go ahead and place the hopper cart on here and get it started. <laughs> You may want to later encase this in glass, just so cats and things can't get into it and mess with it. Probably the easiest way to get your bees for this farm is to find an active hive. Watch it and make sure that at least two bees go into it and then collect it with a silk touch tool. It could be a pickaxe, could be an axe, it really doesn't, even a shovel, it doesn't matter. It might take a little longer. And then probably the easiest time to do that is at night because the bees tend to go inactive and then go into the hive. So you can find a hive, watch bees go into it. Meanwhile, I'm going to put an empty hive here. That This hive is where our active hive will be, um, just to give you an idea. Um, and But for now, I'm going to put temporary blocks. So I'm going to put temporary blocks going out three. You can use dirt blocks like this. And then we can remove these two. And now we want dispensers. This is a dropper. That's not what I want. We want dispensers or it will not work. Facing inward. This is going to be facing inward where our hives are going to be. And again, I'm going to put just empty hives for now. And then we'll put observers facing down into the hives with their shiny red buttholes facing up and then a block connecting them with the dropper. You do need to shift click these. And then we'll connect the droppers with this block. So now any change in the hive is gonna trigger, we're gonna remove these temporary blocks now. Any change in the hive will trigger the dispensers to spit empty bottles through the hive and collect honey. Now that it's two blocks high all the way around, we can add a farmer. So let's place a block there, break out one block, and set this up so we can put our farmer on a rail. Do like this. Now you can use a rail to bring your farmer up and into your farm through that space right there and you won't be able to get out. Then put that glass block back. I'm going to keep it simple by planting potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and hoe this land. Um, you can use a seed crop if you like. If you do, I recommend you give the farmer uh, about three stacks of seeds and maybe two stacks of whatever it is you're farming, like whether that's beetroot or wheat, for instance. Um, uh, something like potatoes or carrots is probably easier because he doesn't have seeds and crops to keep up with in his inventory. But... Um, Either, but uh, it should be fine either way. Um, I do recommend you buy or sell something from him just to lock him in because occasionally, there we go, now he will stay a farmer no matter what. Occasionally he'll walk away from that composter and stop being a farmer for a little while. Um, and this way he's locked in and he will stay a farmer for good. Now I'm going to go ahead and plant potatoes. We don't need to see all that, but you get the idea. Now, if you want to speed things along, go ahead and give him a bunch of potatoes, like at least five stacks. I'd say I'm going to give him six stacks, and then he will be full and he won't be able to pick up anymore, and the cart will pick up all the ones that he picks. So that's the idea. And he was able to pick up six stacks. Go ahead and put dirt in between these spots. And you can add more flowers there. And then let's go ahead and put 
some glass here before we forget. We want to make sure that the bees are going to be contained and then we can work on the collection system. Put a hopper into the back of each of these dispensers. We're going to fill those up with, with glass bottles uh, like this. Both the dispensers and the hoppers should be full of glass bottles like that and then like that. Although you can put shears in one of these and fill all the space up with shears in order to get some honeycomb. That's what I did on the other farm. And then do that for all four of these. Put glass on the ends here as well. And this glass is gonna go all the way around eventually. Now we're gonna put a chest in front of this glass. And we're gonna put a hopper into this hopper. Right there, you're gonna need to shift click. Now we're gonna create a hopper train that goes into this chest. And that should work like this. Of course, you have to shift click. And we want it to go one past this last hopper. So we want one more. Right there. This whole thing's ultimately going to be a dome to contain all the bees. I went ahead and put uh, a row of glass blocks all the way around. Now I'm going to cap these hoppers. This is also going to help keep the bees in and it's going to keep the hoppers from constantly checking above them. We want hoppers on our composters on all but this first hopper. That's going to be our item elevator. So we're going to want to make sure this is glassed in well. And we're going to have the, the item elevator is going to go right here. So I realized that I had the chest too close in. We need to extend them out one more hopper. This hopper needs to line up with those up there. So I'm going to put a temporary block for now. And then I'm going to put a chest array again. Like this in a zigzag pattern. So that we have plenty of storage. And then we'll connect them with hoppers. Like that. And now we'll connect this hopper chain to the chest like that. So now it's continuous. And now this last hopper lines up with those up there for our item elevator. Now we want to put a dropper. We want to be underneath it, come out two more to right there. We want to make sure that it's facing upward. And we're going to put soul sand on that hopper. Like that. This is going to be an item elevator. We're going to glass this in completely all the way around. And then extend this item elevator up. You can use scaffolding to help here if you need, or you can just stand on the glass. That's actually a good way to do it. We're gonna fill this with water and make sure that though that they are um, source blocks. And we wanna make sure this water is enclosed so that it goes all the way like that. So now we have a channel going all the way up. I will need to put water in, so we're gonna to need to have an opening. Now we can place water here. You can see it flows over into the hopper, that's good. And we need this all to be source blocks. So we can go down and place kelp all the way up. Now if we remove the kelp all the way down, we should get pushed out, and that's how we know it's working. Now we can finish glassing that off. And we've got our water elevator in place. Now we just need to build our sorting system. Now, the point of this item elevator is to get glass bottles back into the system. Whenever uh, the dispenser spits a bottle through the beehive, that's triggered by the bee putting honey in there. But it takes several times before there's enough honey to collect, which means sometimes they're just gonna spit empty bottles through. So we want those to get recycled and we don't wanna have to do it manually. So we're gonna put hoppers coming out of the dispenser, or going into the dispenser, and then a couple that are just facing harmlessly into the item elevator like that. Now we're gonna put three blocks coming out like right here, a block there and a block there. And have a comparator coming out of our, out of this hopper, the one right underneath the hopper chain. And we need some redstone, let's put that down. Coming out of here. We need a repeater to continue the signal this way. It's gonna be kind of weak at this point. And we want a redstone torch that sends it back up that way. Now, we go into an anvil, we name any item we want. I'm gonna use glass, it could be anything, but give it a unique name. I like to call it sorting, whatever. So 
now we have some, something that we're called, this is called sorting glass. It's still glass, but the system treats it a little bit different from regular glass. And we're going to put one of those at each of these and then the item we want to sort. So that, as you can see, is counting down. And if we watch it, it should go down to about 41 and then stop. That's when the, comport, the comparator will stop. We'll turn off that hopper. There we go. So now only glass bottles will get pulled out of this. Everything else will go into our system. So all the honey, all the potatoes, all the honeycomb, anything else will go into these, these chests. But any empty bottles will get um, sent into this dispenser and we're gonna make it send the bottles back up. So we gotta do that part next. This isn't working yet because we need to make it so that our dispenser gets activated when there's something in it. So I'm gonna have an observer that's facing toward the dispenser like that so the shiny red butthole should be this way I did it the wrong way there we go and then uh, nope I didn't I did it I did it the right way to begin with we want the shiny red butthole facing the dispenser we want the face this way <laughs> now we want another observer that will be facing that way after this sticky piston pushes it into place and then the sticky piston is going to get activated by a comparator coming out of this dispenser that feeds it in. We're going to want to put a repeater because the signal, as you can see, can be kind of weak when there's not much in there. And now it's going to activate and you can see that it's spinning the empty bottles back into our chain of hoppers up here and back into our dispensers. So that's exactly what we want and you can see that it's now emptied out. Now I recommend that you put extra bottles in this chest over here. It's really like an extra bottle repository. I'm going to put some bottles in there. this you, it doesn't need to be full that's probably overkill I mean maybe do it like that that's probably plenty and then um, this will help feed I didn't fill everything up so this will drain into here well it's going to drain into this hopper and then go into here and remember though that the whole thing is going to feed these other hoppers first before it ends up back here so it'll keep all these full as long as you keep a decent number in this chest over here to act as a repository now we just need to glass the rest of this in you can glass it in with sorting glass, that's no problem. <laughs> um, and just glass all of this in, um, like that. And go all the way around to create a complete dome. You can make it however you like. You can make it big, just to make it look better. Um, or you can just make it like a square dome with a roof to keep all your bees in. And then once that's in place, Here's what it might look like when you're done. Just make sure the bees can't get out. Check for gaps. If you have gaps, the bees will probably find them. I've also put a stairway. You probably want to put something like that as a way to get in. And I put an iron door. You might want to put that so that other villagers can't get in. And then once we have that, we can remove. Be also careful when you jump down, you're going to ruin a piece of farmland. So you may want to bring a hoe with you. So once we, we can take our beehive that has actual, actual bees in it and replace one of these hives or whatever temporary block you have there with your bees, hot with your active beehive. Now, as the bees come out, you can feed them flowers, breed more bees, and that will help, you know, as you have more bees, it'll make your crops grow faster and get you more honey at the same time. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope you like this build. If you do have any suggestions for ways to make it better, or if you have any questions about it, please leave a comment. Also, I do try to put out a video every week, even though this one was late. I didn't like it the first time I made it and ended up redoing it. But I do try to put out a video every week, so I really appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell.